are some of your favorite drills uh, for athletes yeah. that come to you? Yeah, well, this is all a lot that I learned as a punter and under Nathan, and then also um, had a really good tra- chat with um, Kevin Ball last year. Just got a massive fascination in the biomechanics and physics of it all. So it's all about it's all about um, foot speed. How can we increase our foot speed, and then um, what we're doing at contact. So mainly foot speed. I kind of break it down into three categories. You've got your technique, you've got your strength and power, and then your mobility and flexibility. So I know one, of, I've read all of Kevin's studies and um, with our chat, like a two degree increase in your hip extension, ability to get your foot further back, added five meters to some of these AIS kids. And um, so being able to get your foot further back in the backswing allows for more distance to accelerate um, in the forward swing. How often would, from a skill acquisition point of view, do you feel you need to be, is it time? Is it frequency? What's the best way to sort of put, add that into a kid's schedule, do you think? Yeah, I think um, like after a good warm up, um, you can incorporate, you know, going for long distance kicks, but really a really good drill that they can do straight away. And which I encourage in any warm up is the no step kick. So, being able to not utilize momentum, it's purely strength in your hamstring and glute to get your foot back and then um, come through powerfully. You're not reliant, you can't you know, use momentum. So that's a really good drill, not only for your distance, but just to get more penetration on your kick for those low punch kicks. Then you go, you try and kick as far as you can with that. Then you progress to the one step kick, showing that you can develop enough momentum off just a couple of steps. Um, off just one step and then um, yeah and then we also want to be able to do it under fatigue so at the end of training why not have a few cracks from outside 50 um, playing around different things for the senior athletes that are just yeah. you know following training twice a week they're playing on game day uh, yeah. but they do you know they want to start improving their kicking performance that maybe they're a forward or yeah. or they just want to improve their field kicking uh, they're yeah. motivated by the talk half an hour ago about getting over the zone they want to learn the talk yeah. now yeah yeah what, what would you do with that strength and conditioning background that you have as well? Like how would you go about getting your skill acquisition improved but in a way yeah. that you're reducing that risk? Yeah. So with with my kicking, I've got it so they not only increase, try and create something to get stronger in their kicking but also in their load. So the first week starts off at, I think, 70 kicks and then it progresses each week to um, building up your load and tolerance of your number of kicks. In the strength yep. um, and conditioning Look, it's so hard to give a holistic view. You know, every we're talking individuals here. So, um, you know, different, you know, those senior players have had different injuries over the years. So um, I think just getting a well-rounded program that covers all bases, super important. Um, and then, yeah, it just depends on your ability. Like, can you, like, do power cleans or hang cleans or things like that? So definitely progression. And it can start with body weight. Um, most of my program is body weight or minimal equipment. For those that want to get in touch with you, where's the best place to find? I know TikTok, you're doing massive yeah, things so there I, um, as well. Yeah, the kicking consultant on everything. Um, TikTok's definitely the biggest. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter is more the NFL side of things. Um, but yeah, TikTok and Instagram for the AFL for sure.